is Tori and we're Winnie the Food Collector from the UK and before we get any further into this video I do just want to quickly apologise if like the sound or whatever is a bit different in this video. My camera has decided to, I don't want to say break but it's currently downstairs giving it a little charge and everything but I just can't get it to do anything. Luckily I was able to get all of the, the footage off of it from my Morocco vlogs thankfully but I'm filming on my phone, so we'll see. Hopefully this is okay. Anyway, with that out of the way, this is still quite an exciting video for me. It's my first video as a 25 year old, and it's also my first video that I'm filming. Engaged! Ah! If you haven't seen my most recent vlog, Salah did propose. Ah! I still just like, can't stop staring at it. I'm so happy. But anyway, we have got lounge flies to unbox. I ha did say previously that we had a lot of Woody the Pooh Christmas unboxings coming up and we have got another one. I did kind of already tell you guys that this one was on its way. LF Lovers did reach out and offer to send me this bag. It is from the October lounge fly collection because if you remember we got absolutely spoilt with Woody the Pooh Christmas lounge flies and oh, how many were there? Two backpacks two crossbodies and a pin. I was absolutely spoiled for choice. I've wanted a Winnie the Pooh Christmas lounge fly for so long. The US have had them for a few years on the yearly releases and they never really made it over to the UK. I'm so happy that we finally got them in the October collection and we were spoiled for choice. So I chose the cross buddies one, which I've already shown you guys in the unboxing. I'll leave the link in the cards up the above. But then after the release, LF Lovers got in touch and asked if they could send me this bag, which I'm just so happy with. I think everyone knows how much, obviously I love Winnie the Pooh, I think that is a given, but also Christmas is like my favorite time of year. So I was so excited. And what was funny, this bag was the one I was toying between with the one I got. So I was just so excited that they offered to send it to me. And I think that we are now socially successful. I've done so many Christmas videos already this year, but it's now November, so now people can't tell me, you know, Halloween hasn't been yet. November, Christmas. Let's go. We are in. So, as always with LF Lovers, there's a few staples that they always send out in their orders. Starters being jelly beans. You get these with every lounge fly. I've also just included a little business card. And in case you didn't know, LF Lovers is sister company to Pop Figures. So all your lounge fly and Funko needs got you covered. And then the other staple, they've actually put the lounge fly inside the dust bag, which is very cool. You get a nice dust bag with all of your orders. That's what I love about LF Lovers. Whatever lounge fly you order, they will send you a dust bag. Whereas I know some companies, it, you have to order, like spend so much money and you get a free dust bag. With LF Lovers, whatever you've bought, if you brought a lounge fly, you get the dust bag. I love that. You just move the box and all of the rubbish out of the way. And time for the grand reveal. Oh, it's the wrong way. Da, 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 da. <gasps> I'm so excited. And now I've got the actual bag out of it. I'll just show you the dust bag with the logo on it. Nice. I'm so excited for this. Where did I put my scissors? There we go. This bag is already so exciting in so many ways. One, it's Winnie the Pooh. Two, it's Christmas but it's got another element to it, which I'm so excited about. I've only got this element on one other bag in my collection. I think it is quite a new thing that Lounge Lives started doing. Oh, that's cool. I'll show you it in a minute. I just noticed something. Let me just get it out of all the packaging and I will be back with you. Oh, that's pretty. I didn't know that. That's so cute. I do try and watch the monthly Lounge Fly stream so I can see the upcoming bag, but I kind of caught it in, I think I only saw a little bit of the Winnie the Pooh ones. I think I only saw them when they're on like the back wall. I don't think I remember seeing them in the video. Because this bit I don't remember seeing. I definitely remember seeing them like when all the companies were posting their pictures. But this is so cute. Is there more I can, yes there's more packaging. Okay, the straps are in wrappers but that's okay. I can still, we can still go through it. So here we go. So I can't exactly remember what the name of the lounge fly is. Usually at this point, I would pull my phone up, go to the website, find out the name, but obviously I can't do that. But let's just go with Winnie the Pooh Christmas. <laughs> I don't know. This, this is it. We don't need a name. We don't need a name. I'll come up with that on the title at another point. So 
it's your standard size mini backpack and on the front we have got it looks like they're in like a log cabin like a really Christmassy log cabin and they're just opening the windows and they're all coming out so you have got Tigger up the top here and is that on his tail yeah he's got a little like jingle bell attached on his tail and he's got a reef around his neck and then we have got Eeyore I love it when they include Eeyore with a smile it's just so cute obviously it's christmas of course he's smiling and he's got a little scarf on and then we've got piglet piglet has got a scarf on as well i do like that piglet is just like sat on the windowsill they're all like coming out of the window piglet's just sat on the windowsill and then we have got pooh bear and he's got a scarf on as well he's got a little pink scarf on i just noticed when i just turned it around to look at it piglet has got little mittens on i didn't notice it at first because they're the same color as his scarf but piglet is wearing cute little mittens that is so cute i don't know what like category to put this bag under it's not cosplay it's not a print or over i don't know what you call these like a scene would you call it like a scenery bag i don't know but the so the whole window piece you've got the main bit of the bag back here just your standard lounge fly fake vegan leather material you can see a bit of like the cabin they're in and then this bit up the top here all snow coming down on the cabin and just while we're up here we might as well just talk about the lounge fly plaque the brown backer and the plaque is a kind of off whitey it's not quite cream but it's not white so off whitey color and then the this whole bit is a big applique as you can see it's 3d to the rest of the bag so it definitely gives you the feel that you know they've just opened the windows and they're like jumping out shouting merry christmas and yeah you can see also just in the background a little bit of the inside of the cabin that kind of looks like it's going to be a chimney place and they've got some fairy lights on it and then on the window obviously it's obviously snowing piglet is sat on the snow and you've got all the snow on the doors as well i will just point out on the windows some of it is snow but some of it is something else, which we'll get to in a minute. Both sides of the bag are the same. You've just got the log cabin continued, and then it, you have got the little snow piled up at the bottom, a reef, and some nice Christmas lights, and it still looks like it's snowing. And as I said, that is the same on both sides. But I've also just noticed that I really like, love it when Landfly does cute little details like this. So this is obviously the side pocket, but on top of the pocket, you've got this like, it's not on the pocket, it's kind of like an applique piece in a way, an additional piece. So it looks like, you know, snow has just landed on top of the cabin. That is a really cool detail. And what, when I was opening it up, I said I didn't realise and I thought was exciting. I thought the entire bag was going to be this wood pattern of the log cabin. But the top of the bag is this, I don't know how well you can see, it's kind of like sparkly like a sparkly silver but it has also got these really fine white dots obviously for all the snowflakes i don't know why but i assumed the bag was going to be the wood all the way around with like a bit of snow on it but it's nice and silver and snowy i really like that that is cute and then on to the back so the straps are the same as the top it is the sparkly silver with the little tiny white dots very fine detail that i don't know if the camera is going to be picking up but it's just so cute just like hidden details of the snow so that's the same as the straps and then the back design i'll show you this tag in a minute i do like that the back straps and like the handles and everything is a different color to the rest of the bag i do like that kind of like contrast so here's the back just the back of the cabin and we have got pooh bear in like a little santa costume kind of say the same as what he is on the cross buddies bag he's got his santa hat on and then some green mittens and he is just building a snowman but of course he is building a winnie the pooh snowman i don't know why but i feel like winnie the pooh snowman was a lounge flight in the us a couple of years ago i'm sure it was i'll include a picture here if it was if not maybe i'm just dreaming but i'm sure it was but how cute is that he's just building a snowman and it's Winnie the Pooh. How cute is that? So, I feel like in Lounge Line Boxings lately, we've just been talking about tags. It's very exciting. We've got a big wad of tags here. We've got the standard Disney Winnie the Pooh Lounge Fly tag. And then we have got this jumbo one. It says, I light up. And then it says, rechargeable, which is very exciting because my other light up bag 
I think it's just battery powered. So I'm very intrigued. We need to see the lining and we need to figure out the light up. So let's go inside. I do like it when they stuff the bag with bubble wrap. It's so much easier to get out than the paper. The little things in life that keep me happy. How's best to show you? There's, you can see the switch for the light up element. The lining is the exact same as our other Christmas poo bag, the cross bodies one. But on that bag, it was kind of hard to show you the lining. So I hope you can see this a bit better. It's a red background and then it's got snowflakes. But the snowflakes are the characters so you can see there. You've got a poo snowflake, a tiger snowflake, Eeyore snowflake. I absolutely love that. And then obviously here is the switch for the light up. And I don't know how well I can show you. If you can see just there, there is a little attachment bit for you to put in a charger. So yeah, you can literally charge your bag, which is very cool. And I do very much like that. They've done lots of glow in the dark bags and now they're introducing light up bags. And I think that is, if they're going to do light up bags, I feel like chargeable is better than the battery powered. My other battery powered light up one is my stargazing bag. I absolutely love it. It was my first ever light up bag, but now I'm thinking about it, it does make sense for them to be rechargeable because obviously batteries, save the planet that is very cool could you just imagine me like out and about and i'm like in a cafe or a restaurant and i'm like oh let me just put my bag on charge <laughs> that'd be so funny i don't know if so i don't know if i need to charge it or if it's gonna work without any charge the button's not doing anything <laughs> that's why it wasn't doing anything i was just pressing the button i was like it's not doing anything it's because it's a switch it's not a button that's why it's not doing anything tori okay are you ready three two one this makes me so happy so round the outside of the window they have got some christmas fairy lights <sighs> how cool is that i feel like i was at you know the town center doing the grand light switch on you know the local celebrity turning up to do the lights but it's just me lighting up a Pooh bear log <laughs> that is so cool yeah this is my second ever light up bag and I love that it, instead of battery powered, it being rechargeable. That is so cool. I'm trying to see what kind of end. Does it take, put my phone on charge as I'm filming this. Let me just unplug it. Does it take this kind of end? There you go. Got my bag on charge. That is, that's groovy. Yeah, it just takes the, these ends. I've got a Samsung phone. I don't know, can't remember what these type of ends are called. I don't know, I'm not that technological. This end. Let me plug my phone back in. <laughs> I didn't know, I knew it was a light up bag, but I assumed it was going to be a battery one like the other one I've got. I think that is very smart of Loungefly to do it as a rechargeable one, much more friendly for the planet and just a smart idea. I am so, so happy about this bag. Poo and Christmas is just the cutest combination and I'm so happy that there's more Winnie the Pooh lounge flies in the world, but not only that, but the UK finally got to join in on the party. So that is the Winnie the Pooh light up Christmas mini backpack. As I've already said, this was part of the October Loungefly catalogue. That means it is available with all of the Loungefly official retailers. I will just put a quick note here for you that I think it was yesterday or today as I'm filming it, Loungefly did update their official stock lists for the US and Europe. Quite a few official retailers have dropped off of the list so do just kind of make sure just to double check the official stock list. It's so important that you support official retailers when shopping for your lounge flies. This was kindly sent to me by LF Lovers and I am a partner of their shop and if you use code TORI15 you'll get 15% off lounge fly purchases. That can be lounge fly bags, crossbodies, pins, apparel, anything that is lounge fly you can use my code to save on it. Thank you so much again, LF Lovers, for sending me this bag. It's just, I'm already so excited for Christmas. As you guys all know, I'm not that much of a Halloween fan. So now Halloween is out of the way and I can just go full on Christmas. I am just so excited. So thank you so much, LF Lovers, for sending this to me. I've got a few ideas in my mind of how I can style it and do some outfit posts for it. And I can't wait to take it out 
to like Christmas markets and things like that and get some very cute photos with it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. Again, I do just want to apologize if anything quality wise has been different. Hopefully I will get my camera fixed soon. I did just pass it over to my dad for him to have a look at and he thinks it, he googled it and it is apparently a thing that the screen does go on the cameras. So we're going to try and take it into a shop for someone to like replace the screen or something. So hopefully that is all sorted and I won't have to sort out too many more videos on my phone. So thank you for putting up with this. I don't know how it's gone. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please do pop the thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more from moi, do click subscribe down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to ding the notification bell and you might as well. You're already down there. And I'll see you guys real soon. Bye!